Hello friends, Namaskar. Once you file your return of income, you can't say that my job is done. You have to wait and see that your ITR is duly processed by CPC also. CPC is the income tax department cell which is placed at Bangalore who processes your returns which you have filed for the relevant assessment year. So if I say that for the assessment year 22-23, once you have filed your return, you have to duly check that that return is also processed by CPC. Nowadays, interestingly, CPC has started issuing certain messages which may appear to be a kind of threatening to the assessee also. I may be wrong in selection of my word, but, but this threatening term is used because sometimes CPC is saying that you are claiming a refund and you should be sure that your refund is correct. Now what this message exactly is, how this message is generated by CPC? and how the assessee can respond this message to. These are the few points which are in my mind with through this video I am trying to put up before you for the benefit of all. So let me directly come to the point and say that what is the kind of email which is being sent by CPC Bangalore and particularly in those cases where the refund being claimed by the assessee. So CPC through its do not reply mail id is sending say on uh, such and such date such and such time limit and the subject which is mentioned in this particular communication is response to confirm or revise claim of refund for the assessment year 22 23 and this will be sent by them to your official mail id which is there with the cpc so if this is the message you can check your mail id which is connected to your it portal that whether this kind of message is there in your case if yes, then we will discuss further that how this particular message is to be interpreted and what are the consequences of this message is. So now I am discussing the content of the email. In the content of this email, it is further written, Dear taxpayer, it is seen that a claim of refund has been made in the income tax return for PAN so and so, for assessment year so and so, filed by you on such and such date. Your income tax return has been identified under risk management process. So this is important sir. What they are saying that one you have claimed the refund and the refund which you have claimed is under the risk management process of income tax department. So in this context your confirmation is required on the following claim deduction or omission in the return. So there could be three bases of this kind of intimation being issued by income tax department to the SSE that either in the opinion of the risk management process of CPC, you have claimed certain deduction and you are therefore claiming a refund which they may not be prima facie understanding or agreeing to or you have claimed certain deduction which they are presently dubious in their opinion or there are certain omissions from your side while you have filed your return say for example in form 26 years there may be certain income which you might have not reported in the ITR and you are claiming the refund. So they might be interested to look into this aspect that since you have not offered your income completely, the present refund which you are claiming is right or wrong. So more or less the whole concept of this kind of intimation is regarding this claim of refund. Now let me discuss with you the reason which is mentioned in the present case which I have just picked up for the example only. Here to this assessee, the reason mentioned is, it is seen that you have claimed large exemption under section 10, verify correctness in your claim to ensure consistency with the amount reported by employer in form 16. So sometimes what happens and majorly in the case of salaried paid persons, it is possible that the employer has not allowed certain deduction, has not considered them in form 16, while filing the return, the assessee claimed them. So when you are claiming them first question arises if the employer has not considered certain exemption deduction can you claim them in ITR in my opinion no issue on that provided your claims are genuine. So if such is the case for which you have received this kind of intimation don't worry but if there is a case of you claiming certain deductions which you are not eligible to you claiming certain exemptions which you are not eligible to or you have omitted something in the opinion of CPC and which you are also agreeing to that yes this omission is there and my tax liability would have been higher or my refund should have been lower. Then you have to be vigilant on this particular intimation. This communication is intended to alert you on any possible incorrect claim omission in the above mentioned return of income. So this is what CPC has discussed in this mail. 
See further, the content of this email also includes relevant information in respect of your financial transaction is also available in the annual information statement under service menu in e-filing portal, post login. Please check before submitting response in respect of communication to ensure complete and accurate disclosure of your income. So CPC is just guiding the SSE saying that you may see your annual information statement and other information which is available like that in form 26 AS etc. before you give a final response to them. And if you make up your mind to give or provide final response, you have to go in e-filing portal, then go into pending action, then work list. There you will find an option response for refund confirmation and you are supposed to select the either of these two options. One, the claim in my return of income are correct. If you are sure that what you have claimed as a refund is correct. Two, I will revise my return of income to correct the amount of refund claim. This is a very important point, sir. Suppose after receiving this intimation, this email from CPC, you find that yes, there is something which needs you to file your return a kind of revised return. So this kind of revised return is an important call for you which you may decide based on this mail while you go through the data of your return. But if you feel that there is no revision required whatever claims you have made in your return the exemptions, deductions etc are duly verifiable then you have no hesitation you should have no hesitation to go and choose the claim in my return of income are correct. So finally CPC is saying please verify the correctness of claim made in your return of income filed and submit your response within 15 days of receipt of this email and in case of any incorrect claim or omission please revise your income tax return for the assessment year 22-23. Yet I have discussed this part my dear friends but that was a theory let me show it to you practically say for example in the case of an SSE who is an individual we open up the login we have to go into pending action once you will click here you will find the option work list in work list if you get this kind of message for your action response for refund confirmation this is the acknowledgement number which is pending since so and so date assessment year now you are supposed to submit the response this is your PAN and this is the refund which you have claimed. So you have to see that whether in your case it is a fit case for accepting that whatever claim of refund you have made is correct or you are accepting that no my refund claim has certain problem and I am wishing to revise the return. Only these two options are allowed to be selected in this particular process. Once you choose submit response option, you will get this thing response for refund confirmation, your PAN acknowledgement number, refund which you claim and the assessment year for which this refund is uh, under concern. Please select one of the below responses. The claim uh, in my return of income are correct or I will revise my return of income to correct the amount of refund claim. So this is important because once you submit the response, then this is a final view of yours. If I am again repeating, if you are sure about your refund claim then this option should be clear. If you wish to revise your return but don't revise only under some pressure that income tax department is asking me to revise. No, you have to check that if you have due supportings to claim your exemptions, deductions etc. then don't hesitate to tick here. But if you feel that you don't have supportings or there may be some omission in the return then you should go and file a revised return. So this is that way you have to see this particular response submission importantly. So finally when you select out of these two options you will get a message response submitted successfully while following transaction ID. Response for refund confirmation has been submitted successfully for the acknowledgement number so and so. At the end my dear friends I would simply suggest that one should not be worried about this message if he or she is confirmed about the refund claim which they have claimed in their return. But if you find that there may be some problem like you are not able to uh, allow the verification of these claims which you have made in your return, you are lacking in terms of supportive document or there is certain omission in the return, then you should avail the benefit of filing a revised return and revising your refund claim. If you are claiming a, a kind of revised return benefit, it does not mean that you are liable to pay any penalty which is a very important point. In such a case, you may be liable to pay only the interest for the delayed period. 
However, there is no consequence in kind of you being liable to pay any penalty if you increase your income. So I hope this video would be certainly useful to you and you would get benefited through this. Thank you very much for being with me. Wishing you all the best. Jai.